All right, hello, welcome back. I believe we're up and running. It's not showing on my phone that I am. Okay, it's up. Uh, we're going to load in the warband. Just wanted to leave it up so you guys could watch me load in, you know, because I'm such a cheater. Uh, and then confirm, continue loading. So it looked like the stream stabilized in the uh, when I played Paranoia versus Albro. Albro, man, taking scalps. Basically beating Paranoia twice. Uh, we got the vampire out where we want him. We left off. I think my leader's turn. We're going to try to get him a kill. Well, thank you very much. A new round has started. Um... Yeah, we'll just delay. Mr. Jingles. Now, everyone's a question mark again. That's what sucks about loading in. You lose sight of the units. We knew where these ghouls were. But since we're reloading, we've kind of lost them, if you will. Did he drop off his shit? He did. Bubbles, my man. With your 10% armor. Uh, I'd like to get Bubbles a kill. He, Bubbles would like to go loot things. There's this. We just got a cluster. A cluster. Um, I'd like to loot a lot more of the map, but they're kind of yellowing in, aren't they? We're going to try to stall. Let's do some math. We could try to lock this down forever. This guy hits like a motherfucker, so he's going to be a problem. 26 and 42 against Ginger Snap. We could try to heal up. We're going to try to stall. we got to kill this guy, and we might have to kill this guy. That might be too much. 14, 36. That takes them exactly to the route threshold. Oh, man. Doesn't it? That's 52. Yeah, it takes them right to it. Oh, that sucks. We can't leave this guy out there. Now, he will only attack once at the same time because he's only got four red pills. I don't know. Let's look into it. I think Bubbles needs to kind of avoid trouble. He's going to try to try to loot stuff. As I put him into ambush where he can get locked into combat. As always, we want to do the secondary with, with minimal losses. So we'll guarantee we get the secondary here with Jeremil. Jeremil Spokane. So we can heal Gingy. We can heal Peaches. I think we just heal Peaches because he's right here. We can maybe reach him pretty easily. Relatively easily. Easily. Okay, sometimes you don't actually heal when you do that. That would have been a disappointment. Okay, so that's 60. That's so much now. It's so good. Peach is looking a hell of a lot better. And we'll try to go get this other word stone. Or even better, this. Because this can be a purple. We'll take the helmet. I think we'll take that just to sell it. I think it technically is worth a little more than the other item. Too bad we didn't get a purple. We got a blue helmet. I mean, much better things to be gotten, but to be had, to be gotten, but it'll work. Oh, I wonder if you can walk through here. We can. That's actually very nice. You can see a shard out there. Maybe Jingles needs to... We just... Except that Jingle sucks, maybe. Because he does. And we'll try to get some loot with him or something. Fucking Jingles. Motherfucking Jingles. I don't even like his name. So much I don't like him. 
Chip down, Jeremy. Shitty fucking pumpkin. Roll on that hundred. I think we'll just bring him back. Just because he sucks so much. Let's see if we get this ambush off. This would be lovely to ambush with this semi-tanky dark soul. What the fuck was that game? Okay. <laughs> He's like, what ambush? I'm just going to overcharge it through bullshit. a boy. So not a lot of damage, even with the charge. Wow, he's attacking a fuck ton, though. He must have eight red pills. That's too many. God damn. That's a lot of red pills he has. Okay, how did he do spell cast, charge, attack, attack? What the fuck was that? Did I miss something there? He he cast, but then he also did seven points worth of attacks with the charge, hit, hit. That was really fucking weird. You can see the three marks of dismay. That doesn't make any fucking sense. Unless he had the word stone buff. Making it zero. Sp that must be what happened. That's fine. Boots is fine. That's really good. Considering... How hard this guy hits, it's a brutal. That's fine. But we do have this heavy hitter right there coming. We're really going to try to stall as long as possible. Alright, he's easily getting this these word stones. Easy choice, fragments. But that means we'll auto loot better stuff. It's fine. This is a better chance to auto loot the good stuff. We'll go get that other fragment even. Hopefully, this guy barely moves. Okay. We're going to try to bring everyone together where they can get healed easily by the rat. I think we lure this guy fuck out of here. I knew he'd fail. That's why we're going to do two. The further this guy gets away from this one unit, like Mittens just kind of took a beating. We can cycle in bubbles maybe instead. Or just a fresh Dark Soul. Nice. So, for example, I want to have these two kind of close together. I want to lure, but I don't want to lure. Because this is the marked target. Oh, and here comes Cunty. I mean, this guy's going to hurt, though, this 45. He's making his way towards me. Let's just delay. Maybe we can get a lure off with this guy using his two-hander. Fuck you, vampire of cunt, cunt Karstein. And he's up. Where's my last one? Like, he had his turn. Oh, it's just these three still. God, I want to lure, but it's not a good choice. This guy needs to get over here and throw some healing on these guys. Switch weapons. I think that's the way to go. We'll kill this guy next turn. No reason not to injure this guy. We'll do the weapon swap tricks. We can't lure him, of course. It's a ghoul. 
We'll just jump. We should jump above this vampire. Get some healings off. A new round has stopped. 18 damage. I'm the strongest. So we could keep this guy locked down all day. This ghoul. We got this free necromancer now. Running around. And here comes another one. It's the one behind him that's an issue. I don't know. What can you do, buddy? You're so shitty. See, you can't even get by traps or that shitty. Can we get an angle on this necro? We can. He can survive a necromancer attack if he finds his way up here. I'd like to get this guy kills. Buble, Michael Buble. Um We can kill him and be done with it. We know he has Wordstone, so maybe we'll do that. Let's kill this guy and be done with it. Loot him. Get the blues off him. Get the stone. There's some stone out in this lobby we can grab. Okay. I guess he doesn't. How the fuck did he get a free... Casting of what the what the 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 dirty touch, Uncle Dirty Touch. I don't understand that in any way. I've been telling people sticky sludge. This is really good. Um, while inside the area. Movement range is reduced by 2 meters, strategy points by 1, and dodge chance by 20. So it's not a terrible item to get. And yeah, this guy will be super exposed. Maybe we'll bring him back. We'll put him here in case we need to like heal these two guys up. You want to keep the injured folk together. Now we've killed the necromancer. That means when we kill the vampire they're going to have a route test. But that's fine. That's fine. I'm not overly min-maxing. Let's see if we can get this off while saving the globe. These should go 30 meters now, I think. Just not enough. My biggest fear is this this one, that two-handed hammer d uh, ghoul gets on this guy. The worst thing would be this guy gets locked down. That would easily be the worst thing that can happen. Let's try dropping it there. There, 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 there. Can we get all three of my guys? No, there's a weird fucking pole in the way. Okay, this helps so much. We might be able to do some stalling here. Because this guy's going to come in with that giant fucking two-hander. Nobody wants to watch, huh? Where the fuck are all the viewers? You guys don't care about my PV PVEs? I'm hurt. Hurts me. Uh, they might just march right past and attack 
pumpkin here. Because pumpkin's the fucking worst. They can sense it on them. They can smell it. So they go after them. I don't know who this 52 is. Really a shame we didn't get any fucking zombies. They were all ghouls. Which means if you kill them, they rout. Way faster. Kind of annoying. I mean, not just kind of annoying, it's fucking annoying. Let's just be truthful. It's really fucking annoying. I want to get this guy another kill. I'd like to drop off his contents, and maybe he can kill the vampire. So we're going to try to stall one more turn here. Drop that axe hit. See if we can get a big hit out on this guy. There we go. Pretty confident. I mean, this guy's full health. And I think Mr. Boots can withstand it. He's got purple heavy armor. Like, what is that two-hander guy back there going to do? That's the big question. I don't, will the thrall reach us, too? I don't know. She's pretty far back. She has a mace and shield, though, so it's not going to... This guy... Oh, good. He's not moving anywhere because he used stimulus. And he's picking up stone. Yeah, he's done. All right, we easily have another turn, and there's a zombie showed up. We're going to try to keep stalling. Jesus, he still made it pretty far. Does he have six blue pills? Is she going to get on? Okay, I didn't think she'd reach us. But, yeah, this needs to end now. Kind of. 46. We can get 60 health back. So that's fine. Both of these guys are going to overheal whatever damage they just took. All right. A new turn shall be starting. Do we think Snowball can get out there? I know he can. I don't know if he can get both shards. Plus we got this lane out there in, in, the, in that area. I'd love to check... Um, fuck that. Fuck you, game. I was trying to see if I get to this, so of course I got poison. Now I'm just not going to get to anything. Because fuck you, game. Alright, Mittens is available now, though. Very injured. So we don't want to be too risky here with Mittens. So I'm going to be risky with Mittens. Like, the Thrall could cut over, right? She's not engaged yet, so she could just be like, oh, an injured unit, and just run this way. So we got to watch out. So we'll bring Mittens around. See what we can go for this way. Try to get these shards next turn, maybe. I think he's got to be back here a bit. 16 damage. I think we can withstand that. No problem. Is this the stimulus guy now? Yeah. Okay, great. So we have two big units that are free. The Thrall and this fucking hammer. He's not going to shoot anyone anyway. What he's going to do is try to get these stones. No problem. So we just picked up a skill, which we're going to train one day. And our warband is going to be good one day. Uh, zombie's never going to make it to me. I'd love to keep stalling. Did we lose a blue pill on that? Looks like we did. He's only got one more pocket.
We can consider killing Nick you. 14 morale impact. That brings him to 51. Yeah, 61, 51. And then that frees up Ginger Snap to maybe lock down Serena. And it gets me a kill. I think we'll do it. Kills are important at this point. Very important for my warband. I think we just bring bubbles back. We can really stall a while here, guys. Is this another zombie? Probably, because he's still a question mark. Like, Boots is a little injured, but we're going to get 60 health back. That's 184. She doesn't hit that hard. I mean, she hits hard, but not that hard. We still have Pumpkin that's sitting here at full health. Could probably shoot this guy, yeah. I'd love to crit this guy. I have a good crit chance. It's 21%. Oh, it's 14. Never mind. Uh, my leader must have the short bow. This must be just a bow. I think we'll do that. It's pretty fun, right? Good use of pills. Yeah, I don't really care about that ghoul. He's not even injured. Anything will just take his red pills away. We've really got to watch um, watch the thrall though. We just got to lock this thrall down. Life is good, and I think he will. She's in the ambush, so this guy will move, and it'll lock down the thrall, and he'll be close where he can still be healed by everybody. Yeah, so Peaches needs to delay. I'd like to get Peaches to kill on the vampire, but it's not 100% necessary. Let's knife this guy down a bit. we got to make sure we can loot his token as well. So this fucker's in an ambush, so we gotta watch that. Last thing we want is a crit. Come on, hammer brother. Come at me. Stimulus again. Actually, that might suck. He might have two turns in a row now. Oh, that sucks. He's locked down Ginger Snap. And he landed the hit. The thrall might hurt. Alright. I think it's time to go for the kill. Actually, can I kill him and loot him? Some sketchy shit here. Oh, what do we do? Ginger Snap is a bit exposed. She gets three attacks. And he just got stimulus. So he's at 48, and he's 49. Oh, we barely stay ahead of him. All right. 
49, 49. This old cunt. Will she kill Ginger Snap? She could do a lot of damage to Peaches too. I don't I don't want to risk anything. You know, these guys aren't immune to terror either, I have to consider. This kind of sucks. I mean, I should be able to survive this. Famous last words, but... He failed. It's a coin flip. Just miss back. Do me a favor. Thank you. And then we're not attacking anymore. Otherwise, we'll just take damage we don't need to be taking. You can't attack because of the... You can't switch weapons because of the healing healing globe. Alright, we're going to heal these two this time. The other guys are doing alright for themselves. The purple and the blue one. Now we got to heal Bubbles and Ginger Snap. I think that nice dodge stance. So the Thrall is going to attack... Peaches, Peaches will live. Bitch had a talisman on her? Yeah, these are going to hurt, but Peaches will live. He will not continue to live, though. Well, that helps. She <laughs> Lower hit chance. Doesn't seem to matter. We have to kill everybody this next round, though. The looting's over. The fun has ended. She's doing... What, 120 damage a turn? And I'm healing 60, so. Well, we got Bubbles and Pumpkin and whatnot. All these guys can come in here and get this guy. I was going to say, even with a crit, I don't see this guy dying. Let's even get this last chest of goodness. Be the purple we need you to be. Flail and the pendant? Sure. Probably worth more than 10 gold. Maybe not. The flail might not be, actually. But that gives us a better chance to auto-loot the rest of stuff. We've been talking about that. Relying on auto loot. I think we switch weapons here. Get them up the turn order. Alright, guys, we gotta kill the vampire and loot him. Right here. Right now. I think the the rat has a good chance of hitting him with his shuriken. That's fine. I get to attack twice at a high percent. And he gets to dodge at a extremely high percentage as well as you can see. Jesus fucking Christ. Thanks game. Really cute. Fucking 18. 18% 18 dodge. This guy whips it out. Whips out his fucking dodge cock and throws it around. Maybe our Magister will land an aim shot here. Oh no, he's way out in the lobby. Courtyard, whatever you want to call it. Um, We have all our units coming up, so... Maybe you can catch him from the rear here. 
There he is. So. No, we can't see the vampire. We got one aim shot right here, buddy. Make it happen. Be the hero you know you can be. It's a fucking boy. And our marauders should be able to get in here. I'm going to triple check we can loot this. Objective complete. Yeah, we got it. Maybe if we delay a bit more, we could the zombies' turn wouldn't have come up. But it's fine. There's no guarantee they won't pass the route check at the same time. Things could get interesting here. We'll have to kill this thrall like so fucking quickly if she passes it. Acts of Defiance, these all sell really well. Hammer of Luck is nice for crit resist. These all sell really well. I kind of want the Sticky Sludge, though. Oh, man. Well, we'll find out if it passes or not. Let's get this guy failing all the terror checks. They failed. Well, we did what we had to do. It was annoying that there weren't as many uh, zombies and that they found us kind of quickly. We auto-looted a cluster and two shards, though. That's, that's really good. That's 26 more stone. We got a purple amulet we'll take that fuck it's a purple you have proven yourself worthy of the dark blessings of chaos all right so one down i got to do one more now before i fight dig let's see how well peaches did i don't think we're going to get the rank 7 i don't think we will all right boys yeah it's just not enough he needs 14, so unless we get a demon, it's not happening. He got 10. Remarkable. I was feeding peaches. He got 11, so he needs 13 to hit rank 7. So if I had taken uh, the palace against Sassy, these guys would all be hitting rank 7, but I still think it's worth sitting on. We could just get a demon. Everyone's bragging about getting a fucking demon. The gods All I've gotten is an ambush. More strategy and offense points. That helps. God, these two fucking units are so bad. It sucks so much I lost my henchmen early. Only purple. Lo we got commanders, diplomats, and enforcers. We got an amulet and a healing drought. Only purples out of that. Kind of sucks, huh? Don't think we need all these bravery shields. We'll sell two of those. Might need one for a hero. Maybe the um, um, what's his name? The mutant. Definitely don't need all these staffs. Don't need that. Yeah, innervation or fury? I think keep the innervation one. In case you want to hit something and put Chains of Chaos on it. Which is exactly the situation Paranoia found himself in against Albro. 
this morning. You think we sell that? I just kept that to sell for 50 gold. Get rid of three of these, probably. We're trying to get a henchman here. It's no reason not to sell that. Well, that's not true. I mean, we want to save up our helmets in case we go against the sisters again. We don't need pendants. If anything, we could sell pendants. Oh, we have talisman anyway, but only the blue ones. I don't think we need a blue antidote. May as well just take a... There's no reason to not have... Just keep the purple ones. Oh, we have a w lot of one-handers we could sell. That's easy to sell. We Dismay is good for us since we caused some fear and terror in all alone's. I like that one. That can be tricky if you think a unit can't charge you and then suddenly they do. It's really nice. I don't think we need a great sword of speed. Let's see where we're at now. I think we have a shipment coming in. No, we don't. But there's a hired sword. If what I remember, there's a hired sword we can get. A brethren. 818? God damn, he's expensive. But he's ranked 6. And I just sold his bow. Whoops. Sorry, buddy. Just sold your bow. So we got to find 40 more gold. That's a shield. Right there. Or all these two-handers we don't use. Flail and axe could be used for a doom weaver in theory. You can sell this amulet of the senses. Plus 15 to perception. Yay. I don't know. I'll look at it. I gotta take a piss and eat lunch and do some errands. But that's one PVE down. We're probably going to hire that brethren. we got to spend our skill points. Oh, mastery battle tongue. Mastery battle tongue. It's going to be so expensive. 270 plus the master. That would like wipe out all our gold right there. So We're about to become really strong, but we're not not quite there yet. I think we send off 70, 70 stone. That 70 is 106. So we can send 79 stone. We can do that just to be safe because I don't trust myself. That's 750 gold coming. So I'll use that gold to do some training and then buy that henchman, perhaps. And then all the go gold we get from now on is just going to get dumped into there. We're going to start saving up gold for a giant gold shipment. We might take the palace next PVE. We'll see. I'm really, really hoping to get the really good possessed. Otherwise, we might wait between cycle three and four. But after we play Dig, we're going to have one more PvE. And then after we play Dig, these guys are for sure hitting rank 7. And maybe this guy. He'll be rank 6. Um, yeah, I don't know if he'll hit rank 7 yet. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll be back later today, most likely.